What is up everybody? It's Campin' Randy here, CampinRandy.com. On my way to go get Josh, the Honda Civic Wagon Man. And then we are headed up to HRG Off-Road where Ian from Nolo Designs has driven all the way down from Pittsburgh with his family and his 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport. And Ben at HRG Off-Road is gonna put a uh, one of the first uh, lift kits for that vehicle. So we are pretty excited for that. I hope you enjoy the adventures today. Uh, we're gonna cook out, have a good time, hang out with HRG off-road, and uh, maybe hit a couple breweries and stuff. We're gonna do a tour of Josh's uh, garage as well. We'll do that tonight, because uh, we are late. Actually, I am late. So uh, we're gonna get some gas, fuel up, and head up to Mooresville, North Carolina. See HRG off-road. Enjoy. picked up the first package there's josh Marty. I did, I, I just, what's your instagram rt4wd wolf Riz high four drive wolf all right i just call him the uh civic wag wagon man because uh we're gonna do a tour of his shop later today uh, once we get back from charlotte he ended up buying uh, a cartoon civic wagon uh what's it got sharpie all over it sharpie yeah it's got the sharpie it's all that over stupid tiktok trend or something but yeah, it's a meter, but it's for parts, so whatever. Yeah, I like I like the thing, but he got that thing for 500 bucks, so we'll show that later in the video uh, today. So uh, we are on 85, heading towards HRG Off-Road. Says we'll be there about 9, 12. Uh, Ian at Nolo Designs is already there. He is uh, actually sitting in his trail sport doing work, so if you guys uh, ordered any skid plates last night, he is working on orders out of the trail sport right now. So. Uh, we're talking back and forth on my phone. All right, stay tuned. We got more adventures to come your way. All right, here we are. We are here. It's got this Toyota here with a jet ski on it. I don't know. Oh, they already got it in there. Holy shit, look at what is this then? Whose is that? We got a full house today. Look at that. We got the tent. Yeah, put it in park. <laughs> What do we have? There's a dog here? Who's all here? What in the world is going on? You know. Gotta record this. What's up, man? Good to see you. Ian, let's check this thing out. I got I don't have my glasses on. I guess somebody's working on the other side. Because yeah, uh if that's moving. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see the hole underneath of this. Yeah, it's still all stuck. Are you serious? What's up, dude? Not much. I'm Randy. What's up? I know you, right? Yeah, I'm Randy. Good before. to see you. What are you trying to get off over here? Ah, uh, this sway bar wing's kind of stuck up in this thing. I'm trying to get it to be a little happier. All right. Let's check this out. Very interesting. What is it? That's rubber. So Ian, What's up? did you see that you have this like rubber here, and they don't have one on the other side? Yeah. You think they? Uh, you think they missed that? Every trail sport I've seen the bottom of is like that. Interesting. I know. It drives me mad. It should be symmetrical. Even the bracket yeah. set up to support it. I like where the oil filter is, but when you change your oil, it's going to leak all down in here. Well, the plate suggests that that's the end edge of that factory plate right, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying, but it's right. It's right in line with it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still going to leak. Yeah, it's still a pain. Don't worry, if you got that fancy little gutter thing, you're good. Yeah, we got to make another one for this. Uh, so they're actually saying Ben thinks this is a C the CRV.
took the uh, skid plate off and what we notice is the skid plate stops right here. So this lower part of the diff is hanging down. Um, the, the exhaust is crazy. So you come back straight, you got the flex pipe, resonator, big muff, you got a muffler there and then it comes back out sideways down to that huge muffler I guess and then it branches off into dual exhaust off the back. There's a plastic cover right here on the end of the uh, control arm. There's not one on here, but the good part about this that you guys will see is the front of the control arm Let right here. Let me see it. Let yeah. me show them from this angle. The front of the control arm doesn't have the pancake. So you have two, uh, like it, it, it'll rotate this way like the back one has. So we're gonna be able to get more articulation now out of this front, uh, this front A arm you know, until it hits the bottom of this metal here. Josh, hand me the camera real quick. So our travel is until about right, right here. That's when that comes down. But I like the control arm design. I like how it's attached. Just this differentials hanging low right here. This is not, this is not protected at all. Um, but yeah, here's your oil pan. The oil pan is protected. All right, we're gonna take the rest of this off uh, for the subframe. We gotta take all this plastic stuff off here. But we already have the front off. We already have this disassembled. Pretty much the same. You got your tie rod, uh, lower control arm. You can probably see this a little better. But I really like how the new lower control arms are made. Because it looks like you can get some more just, it looks like a, a normal control arm, how it should look. I'm not a fan of our other lower control arm with that pancake. And then there's the spindle. And uh, this trail sport is from Pittsburgh, so that's why it's got a little little bit of rusty rust on it. Hey, if Miller Designs didn't live in Pittsburgh, it wouldn't be from That's right, that's right. We're taking we're taking the top of this off because we want to see it. Because so we, we see this, it's yeah. going in here, it goes yeah, in there, the and then it back out back 90, yep. another 90 back, back into the, the engine. Yeah. But I do like this because it brings air. air I'm wondering if it creates a negative vacuum to where it pulls cool air up inside the car and then out that way. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. like a vacuum. How many of them are probably going to be that way? Don't lose any bolts. Uh, so, they're, they're, uh, oh, they're in there? Okay, cool. So they don't fall out? Yeah. Yo! Look, wait a second. I'm confused. So we're... Oh, okay. I see. So it goes in here. Yeah. It goes in here, up into there. Okay. I just like that it completely blocks off. Like, it literally draws in its own air. It's not from... The engine bay at all like it's it's none the yeah on it. yeah it's all yeah that is neat very tidy but i'm just i'm waiting so uh i'm gonna send this to plr or prl motorsports yeah. and prl prl yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Right. Right. Second. okay cool to make a tube or something to go through this because that looks like that's all silencers and stuff in there oh yeah you know they're gonna yeah that's all silencer stuff There's a mass airflow sensor. This is uh oh, look I found something. I found something. Find. How'd that get up in there? I don't know, but that doesn't go here. What? Don't put that with the rest of them. That's what but that was back there. No, it wasn't. Yes it was. I just found it just now. That's crazy. Up oh, there it goes again. <laughs> hey Ian! Yeah. This was in your air filter. Oh, yeah, it was sitting. It was sitting back here. Okay, well. So we got that taken out. Yeah, thanks for fixing that. You're welcome. Um, so I was talking about PRL putting, doing a U pipe here. Cause is this? You think that's just silencer stuff in there? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, there's your mass airflow. So you got your e there. Going here, 
We got some sort of breather line thing cooked up. I don't know. I'm guessing here. I don't know what's touching exactly, but that's running off the throttle body and coming back up through here and back down. Mm. So I'm not sure what that would be. That's your transmission breather. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Sweet. Still one of my favorite 2023 additions is the ground bolt that we've been running forever in the uh, off-road community. So it's pretty awesome to see that. So, yeah, so we're putting the air filter back in. It's awesome design, dual overhead cam now. You see ABS over there. The top strut towers. What else you see in here, Josh? That's cool. This is pretty open over here. One thing I don't like, I don't like that they have a cat is on the header now. I think those designs are super stupid. Mine really has it. Yeah, mine has it. I know it. all the modern ones do. Yeah. I just think it's really dumb. Yeah. Well, they got to do it for the EPA. It's and the other. It's all W20 now. Oh, the so cat's like water, there. So when you drop the oil, you have to make sure you put the pan way back. Oh, so yeah. I just did my wife's. Oh, yeah. And the ZRW20, it's literally like water. And when it it's is. hot, it's even worse. So oh, you yeah. Have to, so I, I cracked it, you know, just enough to start sort of dripping, pull, pull it out, and it shot probably like, I don't oh, know, yeah. two feet. Just got all it's over like the a bottle. It's a bottle of water. Yeah. Yeah, I can never get my pan underneath mine enough to, to, yeah, to you do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, you got to get a huge pan to not make a mess. There you fill you up your it. oil. We're just looking at everything. Yeah, sure. It, this is it, this is very open over here. It is. It looks like I could literally just drop this motor in a day. Like yeah. look at like it's so it's not overly I, every European I car has got like, wires. I feel like it'd be a great place to hide a uh, like a hybrid system. Yeah, that's, a hybrid system, or you yeah. could well, at least in this you could do like a, you could mount like a compressor here or something. Well, did you uh, see this like little like ARV dual compressor or something like that? That's what hand me my light truck. down there on the on the floor, please. I got my little one. The light on the stick. Yeah. So like down here is like a little little shelf. You see that little hole in there? So this guy? No, down here on this side. You can see it when you come on this side. See it right down in there? Yeah. It's like a little Yeah, it's already a little rusty. Little shelf. Oh my, yeah, it does. It's bird. You think we, if this was moved, they made a bracket, we could put in a dual battery system. Or yeah. this could be like this could be like um put over to here a little bit more. That way we can use that that flat bit down there. To, like mount a tray to yeah. put a second battery so you can run like a solar panel or something and have like your all your accessories ran off the second battery yeah, yeah. so does it so with the 10 speed and the dual overhead cam does it does it like drive different than the nine speed yeah. single overhead cam I, i'm not gonna lie i honestly think the nine speed ships maybe even shifts a little smoother oh hey what, you locked in the robot? Yeah. That's safety right there. You get locked into the robot room. Where is it? <laughs> hey, let me out. Where, so it locks? It locks from the outside. Oh, dude, dude. They don't. I do like these. I like the black handles. That it matches up in here. I like the uh, the touch is there. The other thing is when you pop this, if you have to get in with your key, there's your uh, key fob hole. So you don't have to, so if your, your battery uh, in your key fob dies, um, you don't have to remove anything. You just open this up a little bit like that, and then you can take the key out of your key fob and get into your uh, new Honda. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go look at the back underneath here. Yeah. Gotta turn this sideways a little bit. Dual exhaust, full size spare. I'm actually loving the rear suspension on this. We'll get more into that later today. Go out here real quick. Ben's making us some. Uh... Oh, I came out at the wrong time. <laughs> All the bacon's off. Bacon's ready, brother. Look at that bacon. Got some meat, some dogs. And he is making us some firehouse cheeseburgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
All right, I'm going to get solo cups. So they loom, the, see the engine loom here? Yeah. They wrap it in heat tape yeah. to reflect the heat. And then they're like, that's not good enough. So they Honda's like, shield. heat shield. And then where the loom goes into the through the firewall, they put another heat shield on it. That's crazy. Well, it's I mean it's good though because it keeps it keeps the temperatures down a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. You see, I see so many like GM products having issues with their looms. The looms rub on everything, and like well, they, they, have, get... they didn't have any thought on where they put them. And then you look at something like this, and it's like, oh, not only are we gonna like like wrap it, but we're also gonna throw like. I don't know, everything's like thought out so much better than like you see on a lot of these American cars. Yeah. This is some stuff I just can't stand about my truck. It's like, like the Bison, just how they ran the wheel. It's <laughs> stupid. It's like they just run it in there. Like an afterthought, you know, this was like all planned. All right, so for our engine mount bolts, we'll need spacers here to drop that down. And this has only six subframe bolts because if you see those bolts right there I'll put an arrow in the video those hold the uh, rear of the lower control arm and then to the left of those three is that bolt so this is the bolt right there lower that holds the subframe in the back that's it and then there's two on this side one here and then this one here. So we're gonna put the spacers in there for the one inch, do a two and a half inch drop. So Josh is doing this side. I want you to see his uh, tool layout that we're not allowed to touch versus my side, which looks like, oh, I think I hit one. Hold on, Josh. Put it back. There you go. All right. <laughs> so Josh is going to do this side. I did the other one. We need some space right here. No, no. All right, let's see what you got here, Sir Ben. Well, let's see what had happened was if what? we misjudged the amount of uh, propane we were going to need to cook all this stuff. So. <laughs> Randy came in clutch and got us a spare, so we're good to go. But I got, uh, oh. I got these are uh, firehouse burgers right here and uh, garlic fries. So sweet. Everybody's gonna eat good today. By the way, those taste good raw, also. I and know. by the way, Camping Randy has no alcohol in this solo cup. <laughs> Just make it clear. Make it clear. No. Got bacon, oh, potato you. salad. Oh, yeah. good stuff. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hey, you guys, so you guys did everything already on here? Yeah, we're done. Man, you guys are pretty quick. I what? just don't like how we did this. Yeah, we can tweak it. Oh, food's What? Ready. Oh, what'd you guys do with that one? Well, that's the one I put on top. I put in the back, so it's key to the slot. See, yeah, it I didn't doesn't see rotate how it went. like yours does. Oh, but well, you're I mean, okay. I don't think it'll, it's not gonna. No, it's not gonna. No. It's gonna survive. Oh, there's a visual gap. Carolina squat! <laughs> oh, that's...
that's it for this video. This is actually just a teaser video for you guys. Make sure you tune in down below to HRG Off-Road as well as No Load Design so that you guys can check out the finished video, the two and a half inch lift of the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport. As always, enjoy the adventures. Do you have a Honda? Well, so yes and no. Look at this. What do you got? Which this one you one Which one you picking, Ian? Uh, well, he, I'm gonna let him tell me. Oh, oh Sketchmaster. So I want I want that one. This is next door one. No, but look at this. It's got like a Predator ball. Yeah, starting line has an XR100. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Now it's got a Predator 301. Oh, dude, let's run. Oh, yeah. This one's that. We're running that one. You can keep up the mic. My head. Make sure I was like, I'm gonna tuck my shoelaces in. Let's go. Yeah, you better tuck a lot in. You don't need air. Y'all, y'all are burning. Look at, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Look at them damn things. Paint paint. <laughs> Everybody's got those aren't even sunglasses, John Lennon.